you can encode qubits in an electron, say Audrey's electron from a few minutes ago. Audrey's qubits can be entangled with Baxter's qubits in, again, some fixed temperature environment. Remember, if Audrey's particle is entangled with Baxter's as strongly as possible, and then Audrey measures her particle, she has no idea whether she'll obtain a one or a zero. So Audrey's qubit resembles the gas particle bit whose location, left or right, zero or one, is totally random. My colleagues proved that Audrey can erase her qubits while actually gaining work. Landauer said that we have to spend work to erase information. The trick is to sort of burn the correlations between the qubits. So entanglement serves as a sort of thermodynamic fuel when combined with heat. So quantum phenomena, such as entanglement, can serve as resources in thermodynamics, in gaining work, as well as in information processing, in erasing information. Beyond erasing information, we can build quantum thermodynamic engines, refrigerators, batteries, ratchets, and more. We can use entanglement as a resource in refrigeration. We can charge quantum batteries at a greater power if we entangle them than if we don't. A quantum engine can perform more work on average than a classical counterpart by sort of burning information. And quantum engines can operate under conditions in which classical engines can't. These results not only help us extend Victorian thermodynamics, but also shed light on what distinguishes the quantum world from the classical world.